Hi guys, it's me Mam Nov and welcome to my channel. So, I'm back. Okay, so are you now ready? Get your pen and notebook and let's learn. Today, we will discuss about arithmetic mean. So, a sequence with a common difference is an arithmetic sequence. The nth term or last term of the sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d where a sub 1 is the first term, n is a number of terms, d is a common difference. The terms between the first and last term are called means. Okay, so example, we have 9, 18, 27, and 36. Each number in the sequence is called a term. Okay, so si 9, 18, 27, 36, ang tawag sa kanila ay term. Okay, so we have a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. So if a sub 1 natin, ano ang ating n? 1. If a sub 2 naman, ano ang ating n? 2. a sub 3 naman, ang n natin is 3. a sub 4 naman, ang n natin is 4. Okay, in an arithmetic sequence, the first and last terms are referred to as extremes. So, si 9 and 36, okay, Ang tawag sa kanila, extremes, because sila yung first and last terms ng sequence. Okay. The terms between the first and last terms are called means. So, means naman ang tawag sa terms between or, yeah, between ang first and last terms. So, means ang tawag dito kay a sub 3 and a sub 2. This time, ano ang means natin? So, we have 18 and 27. Remember, when only three terms form an arithmetic sequence, the middle term is called the arithmetic mean or the average between them. Okay, example dito, meron tayong five terms sa arithmetic sequence. Negative 10, negative 14, negative 18, negative 20, and negative 24. Okay. Si negative 18, ang tawag sa kanya, arithmetic mean or average kasi nasa gitna siya ng 5 terms. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang tawag sa kanya, arithmetic mean or the arithmetic average. Okay. So, we have example here. Number 6. 15, blank, 27, and 33. First, step 1. Find the value of the common difference. So, hanapin muna natin ang value ng common difference. By the way, ano pala ang first term natin? Okay, ang first term natin is 15. And our last term is 33. So, para masupply natin ano ang term sa blank na ito, we will first find the value of the common difference. So, the value of the common difference, substitute lang natin sa formula. So, we have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, what is our last term or a sub 4? Okay, that is 33. And what, what is our a sub 1? Our a sub 1 is 15. Okay, next, our n is 4. Saan galing ang 4? Dito kay a sub 4. So, we have 4 minus 1 is 3. And then, multiply natin sa common difference. 3 times d is 3d. Okay? Now, para mawala si 15 sa kabila, subtract natin ng 15 si 33. So, we have 33 minus 15 is 18 equals 3D. We'll divide both sides by 3. Okay? Para si D na lang maiwan. So, it becomes 6 equals D or D is equal to 6. So, ang ating common difference is 6. Now, may step 1 na tayo. Step 2, find a sub 2 or ito yung itong second term. Okay? So, using the formula, a sub 2 equals what is our first term? 
15. So, 15 plus 2 minus 1. San galing ang 2? Okay, because kay A sub 2. So, at, ang ating N is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Times 6. Saan galing si common difference na 6? Yung step 1 natin kanina. Okay, so 1 times 6 is 6. Plus 15, we have 21. So, our term here is 21. So, we have 15, 21, 27, and 33. Okay, dito, insert 3 arithmetic means between 21 and 53. So, follow lang natin ang steps. So, step 1, we will find the value of the common difference. So, first, ano pala ang ating first term? 21, that's right. What is our last term, which is a sub 5? 53, that's right. And meron tayong n. What is our n? Our n is 5, that's right. So, we will, we will just substitute it sa formula ng arithmetic sequence. So, step 1, we will find the value of the common difference or the D. Okay? So, substitute lang natin sa formula. So, we have we have our fifth term, which is A sub 5, right? So, it is equal to 53. And we also have our first term, which is equal to 21. We also have our N, which is equal to 5. Saan galing ang 5? Dito kay A sub 5. Okay? So, our N here is 5. So, we have 5 minus 1 is 4. Multiply it to D. So, 4 times D is 4D. Okay, para mawala si 21 sa right-hand side, okay, we will subtract uh, 21 from 53. So, 53 minus 21 is 32 equals 4D and we will divide both sides by 4 para maiwan na lang si D sa kabila. So, which means our common difference is 8. So, may common difference na tayo. Next, we will find a sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4 using the common difference. So, step 2 na tayo. We will find A sub 2, A sub 3, and A sub 4. Okay, substitute lang natin sa formula. So, we have A sub 2 equals, our first term is 21, plus 2. Saan galing si 2? Dito, kay A sub 2. So, 2 minus 1 is 1, times 8 is 8, plus 21 is 29. So, our second term is 29. And then, the same lang ang gagawin natin sa para kay A sub 3 and A sub 4. Pero, may ituturo akong technique. Okay, since alam na natin ang common difference, diba, arithmetic sequence, we will just add the first term to get the second term and add the second term by the common difference to get the third term and so on. So, why not? Add na lang natin. Ano nga ang ating common difference? 8, di ba? So, why not? Add na lang tayo ng 8. 21 plus 8 is 29. No need na tayo mag-follow nito. Pero it's up to you if you want to follow. But this is just the easier technique. Okay? So, A sub 3. So, we have 29 plus what is our common difference? 8. So, 29 plus 8 is 37. Diba mas madali? Okay. A sub 4. So, 37 plus 8, it becomes 45. So, mas madali na lang siya. Okay? So, kanina, insert 3 arithmetic means between 21 and 53. So, ang arithmetic means ay 29, 37, and 45. Okay. Critical thinking. Okay, this will be your turn. Anani's monthly salary increases by 250 pesos every 6 months. If Ami receives 4,000 in January 2011, how much will be her salary 5 years later? Okay, try to answer on your module. Study well. Thank you. Bye. Stay at home and help your parents. Mm -hmm.